So in this lesson, what I'm going to do is show you how to import um, a rendering from Maya and use it in Scratch to kind of get a pseudo 3D effect uh, for a collectible or anything like that. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, we started off by going into Maya. In Maya, what you want to use is, well, for this here one, I'm going to develop it in a coin shape. So I'm going to go to my polygons. I'm going to go to my cylinder and I'm just going to draw out a coin shape. The detail of it doesn't have to be that big but I'm just going to add in a few more subdivisions make it a bit rounder and then I'm going to go to my channel box and I am going to rotate it in the Y position by 90 degrees oh, sorry the Z position by 90 degrees just to get it turned facing up um, and this is our coin next thing I'm going to do is just to color it Obviously you'd have more time to do this, but you can add in textures or any effects uh, that you'd want. Uh, for this here, I'm just going to right click, add a favorite material, and I'm going to go for a fog. Okay, then here I'm going to change the color to a slightly gold color, a mustard, something like that. And then my specular color, I'm also going to change that to gold, just to kind of make it more metallic looking. After that there, I'm going to add in a light, so create lights, and I'm just going to have a point light. Move it over. So it's like that. And then I'm going to animate it. So I'm going to use 24 frames. Okay, so your timeline down here should have 24 frames. First frame should be as is. So I'm just going to press S to key that in. And the last frame, if I go to my channel box, I want to rotate it on the X, so that red line. So I want to rotate it 180 degrees on this. So it's going to make one revolution or a half revolution in 24 frames. Once you've done that, press S to key it in, press play. And there we go, we've got our coin rotating pretty nicely. So we've got to render these 24 frames out. Uh, we're going to set that up by going to our rendering settings here at the top. If I look at the first thing, uh, Scratch accepts PNG files, so that's what I want to use. And PNGs have uh, transparency on them as well, which means when we render this out, uh, the background uh, is going to be transparent, exactly what we need for Scratch. Uh, naming convention under frame animation extension, we want to use name underscore the number of the frame dot extension which would be PNG. Frame range frame 1 to 24. Uh, we're going to use our perspective camera and image size I'm going to go for a custom 50 by 50 pixels um, small enough so that it will fit in the playing area of scratch and if I need to resize it I can. So once you have all those done we need to get this into position with the camera. First thing I want to do though is I want to switch on my resolution gate. So this will tell me what areas will not be rendered on the sides here. So I know if my coin goes outside those uh, areas or into them, I will not see it in the final frame. So if I position it there, seems to work well enough. That's okay. Um, in your rendering settings as well, it will show you where it's going to render all those images too. So mine is going to be Frank Hoyle, Desktop, College, Maya, Lightning Rendering, Images. And that's where I'm going to find my files. And they're going to be named coin underscore 1 to coin underscore 24. I go to Rendering. And then I click on the Batch Render Export. So that's going to render all the scenes. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, 50 by 50 pixels is a small image. And Maya should do it pretty quickly. It'll ask you to save, so I'll continue. And once it gets started, it shouldn't take that long to finish. Uh, there seems to be a problem with that where it's got stuck on frame 10, so I'm going to cancel it just by clicking on this box here. And I'm going to re-render it out. Hopefully this time it will render the whole way through. Yeah, rendering complete. There we go. So those files are going to be in my college Maya Lightning rendering images and you can see them there coins 1 to 24 all rendered out in separate PNG files in Scratch all we have to do 
is create a new sprite. And we're creating that new sprite. We want to click on the first coin. Okay, so coin one. I'll press OK. After we have that, open up your Explorer and go find that folder where the rest of the the images are contained. Mines are in uh, images here. And I'm going to grab coin 2 to 24. And in the costume section of that sprite, I'm just going to drag and drop them in. So we don't have to load them manually one by one. So all the costumes in there. And just to make sure it is working, I'm just going to set up a very small script. Control. When this is clicked, forever. Looks wise, we're just going to go to the next costume. Pressing the green flag. Press play. And that's it spinning. If you wanted to slow that down, you can go to control, wait. Instead of one second, I'll go 0 0.24, something like that. Pressing the green flag, you can see it's slowed down now. 